Hello everyone and welcome back to the next video of our full note taking app course. In our last video we finished our note table view cell and today we will be doing our view controller. Now I will warn you right now that this is most likely going to be the longest part of the app that we will be creating and that's mostly because there's a lot of styling, uh, there's a lot of code that goes to the saving and also choosing the image, the image picker, if you remember that we have that. So I will be copying and pasting a little more than I did in the previous ones, and I'll be trying to go at a little faster pace. I may not explain some things well enough, so I may be explaining them more in the description or in the comments section. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the main dot storyboard, and we're going to go to our no details view controller right here. We want to make sure that we have our class. If not, go ahead, scroll down, and we want to find it. It's called View Controller because we didn't change its name. So we're going to go here. We already deleted this comment, and now we're going to be adding some some uh, outlets. So let's start with this one right here. This is going to be our Note Info View right there. Our next one is going to be the Image View. Now we are going to have another one called the no image view. So we're going to call this the no image view view, just so we remember exactly what this is. Make a little space so we're a little more organized and we'll put in this. Now you may not actually notice, but uh, if you remember, this is actually uh, a text field, I believe. Yes, this is a text field, although it looks like a label. That is because we chose the no border style, and that's because we're going to be adding a custom one at the bottom. So it looks like one of those uh, materialistic ones that only has the bottom border. Next, we're going to add the note description label. And this one really isn't a label. It's a text view. But we're going to go with that name because we remember what that is. And now we're going to add the note image view right down here, image view. And that's just the image view. It's not the view view. So we're going to create a little a variable right here var manage uh, object context and that did not pop up because we forgot to import core data very important feature var manage object context ns managed object context context unwrap all right we're going to type in return UI application dot share dot delegate as app delegate and all of that dot persistent container dot view context. So that's that. Uh, moving on to the next couple of variables that we'll be creating var notes uh, fetched results controller ns fetched results controller so uh, this is what we're going to be using to uh, populate our table next one is going to be um, var notes and that is going to be a array of note next one is var note so one singular one is going to be just note var is existing. So we'll be checking if this already exists. At first it's going to be false, but uh, when we are going to be going into some of the other functions, we will be changing that. If we need to edit something, it will be is existing is true. And if we are adding a new one because it doesn't exist yet, we'll write is existing is false. Now we're going to be moving on to our view to load. Now, in our view to load, we mostly just have uh, loading data, some delegates, and some styles. So, let's start with our load data. I'm going to type in if let note is note, and that's always going to be true if that runs correctly. Note name label dot text equals to note dot note name. So, basically, if note is note, so if note is loaded into here, if it's here, if it has a value for note, then it will load in all of these values. 
and if it does not have these values, then it will ignore this because no is not equals to no. And finally, our no image view dot image, and this is going to be the same as our cell UI image. Parentheses data note dot no image as data. All right, I believe we're done with this one. Okay, so we're gonna add another one right here. If note name label dot text is not equals to blank is existing equals to true. So basically if it's not blank, if there's a name, then it is existing. And we'll be using this boolean when we save, because when we save we want to check if it's existing. If it's existing, then we'll be overwriting this. And if it's not existing, we'll be adding a brand new one. Now we're going to move on to our delegates. And that actually reminds me of something. Before we continue, we need to go back up to our class and we need to put in some delegates right here. UI view controller, UI text field delegate, because we'll be editing text fields and getting their info. Uh, UI navigation controller delegate, UI image picker, this one's important, picker controller delegate, and finally UI text view delegate, because we do have one text view. UI text view delegate. All right, so that's done. Let's go back to our delegates right down here. We only have two delegates right now, so let's type in note name label dot delegate equals to self, and our note name. Uh, sorry, not no name, no description label dot delegate equals to self. And that is why we had both the delegates. And now we're going to be moving on to styles. Now with styles, we have a lot to put in here, and we already kind of went over it in the last one. So what I will be doing is I will be pasting in these large chunks. I will give you some time to write it down. And by time to write it down, I mean you should pause the video and take some time to make sure that you have all of this typed into your view to load. Now the next one is going to be on the no image view, the first one was on the no info view. Next one is that we're going to be setting a corner radius for the note image view. And the last thing we'll be doing is we will be applying a function called set bottom border to our note name label. Now this does not exist yet, so this will most likely come up as an error. However, we can ignore that because we will be adding that function eventually. What we're going to do next is we're going to do some core data setup right under our did receive memory warning, which I do not believe we will be using data and I will be copying and pasting this in sections so the first section is going to be this right here and we will close that off so this is just the shell pause it make sure you have this written in funk safe to core data completion at escaping parentheses arrow void then inside of these we want to type in managed object context Dot perform and now this code right here we're gonna have a do try so do try self dot managed object context dot save completion print note save to core data so basically, if this runs, we will get this print statement that says that the note was saved to core data. And this will be um, 
ran when we try to save it because that's why it's called save to core data. And here's our next one, catch let error. We're just going to print um, exactly the opposite. Could not save note to core data. And now we'll just have one of these. And inside these parentheses and slash, we're going to type in error dot localized description. So we can get a description of this error. So if we do get one, we can figure out what's where it went wrong and what we need to do to fix that. So that was that. And the next one is actually going to be the image picker. Now the image picker is probably going to be the one where we're going to be um, copying and pasting some of the text. Preferably not all of it, so you guys understand. But I will be copying and pasting in, so every now and then I suggest you pause the video and make sure that you have it all written down correctly. We just need to make sure that our guest recognizer is connected to our note image. And now we can cl click, control, click, and drag right to here. And we're going to be creating a new action. And the name of this action will be pick image button or the image was pressed. There we go. And this is going to be our uh, image picker function. So The first three lines of text here are let picker controller is UI image picker controller. So we're creating this variable pickle con picker controller, not pickle controller. Uh, next, we're going to be setting the delegate of this picker controller that we just created to self. And picker controller dot allows editing is true. So that is the basic setup of our UI image picker controller. And next, we need to actually create our little pop up that comes up when you um, press the button. So we'll add a little space here and we're going to type this in. Let alert controller equals to UI alert controller. Title is add an image. Message is choose from. So basically when you'll tap on the image, the little pop-up will appear from the bottom of the screen. It'll say add an image and then there will be some little small text under it that says choose from. And now we that we have our alert controller, we need to actually add these actions. And the first one is going to be choose from our camera. Let camera action equals to UI alert action title camera style default. Action in picker controller dot source type is camera. So that's our source. The source is the camera. So when we tap on this, it will open the camera or more specifically, it will actually ask for permission to use the camera. And we will be going into the info.p list to change those permissions. Self.present, picker controller, animated true, completion nil. And before I continue, I'm actually going to go and open this in a full window so you guys don't get confused with where you should add a new line and where you should not. Our next option is the photos library. So one option is the camera. You can take a picture of the camera. And the next one is you can choose one from the photos library. And this is basically exactly the same as our camera one, except for the fact that it's using photos library instead of camera. Now you may be seeing this errors in initialization, initialization of immutable variable blah 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 was never used. That is because we did never use them. We never use them. And that's because we haven't yet. We will be using these eventually. The next one is going to be something called Saved Photos Album. And this is, again, exactly the same as the top two, except it's Saved Photos Album. And our last action is going to be very simple. It will be Let Cancel Action. And this is just going to be the Cancel button. Let cancel action is UI alert action, title cancel, style destructive, which means it'll close. Handler is no. Now we actually need to add these to our alert controller. Now how do we do this? Very simple. 
all we have to do is type in alert controller dot add action camera action photos library action save photos action and cancel action very easy very self-explanatory that is what's so great about swift and the final thing that we will be typing into our little IV action here is we'll actually be presenting this alert controller because if we don't present it because first we set we set it up we create it we set it up and then we need to actually present it because if we don't present it it just won't appear so just pause the video make sure you have all this written down I don't want to drag out this video too long so I'm actually going to be stopping it right here and we will be continuing this view controller class in the next video which will hopefully be coming out soon so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed I will have some links in the description and I'll be seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.